Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Captain of Industry. Looking pretty good with our new belt system here. Definitely a fan. Here's the thing, though, right? We got concrete storage here, here, right? All this concrete here. And we want to get these buildings supplied. It's not enough to get these storages supplied. We want to get these guys supplied as well. So um, we got these extra ones. They're kind of spaced out. I've, I've adjusted a little bit the positioning, but they're kind of spaced out. And this will be the last one we build. The thing is, I got this pause because we have a worker shortage. Just one, you know, just one. And locations are explored. Let me just take a look really quick at the map. Uh, we, we were here and um, nothing was there. At least it doesn't look like it anyway. Went here again. Doesn't look like anything's here. Uh, and so now we can uh, try to go to different places, I guess, if we'd like to. But it doesn't look like, doesn't look like we're able to. So it, the game doesn't allow you, it doesn't look like anyway, to just go straight to a place you have to go one at a time and you can't go straight like this it's like a web kind of bizarre i i'm hoping that that's just because of fuel uh fuel reserve says 598 kilometers and and this is less than that away but maybe because if you go here then you won't be able to go back or Maybe it just absolutely requires you to come back to this side. It's it kind of silly. I, I, I don't think I don't like how this is. This is the water for Christ's sake. Anyway, so we have to go back to where we came. Another 23 days to go back there. Uh, and then we can come home, I guess. Uh, they're slowly emptying this. I have staff here, of course, so they can actually shop here. But I'm not having uh, trucks deliver it. I'm expanding my concrete operation. And I'm just going to go ahead and quick deliver a few of these things because we got the unity to do it. So the trucks don't have to do this. So today, what I'd like to do is take a look at how we're going to get concrete delivered here. Now, there's two different ways to do this. We can either deliver concrete directly from these storages to these facilities. Or we can deliver the concrete to these storages and then have them delivered from here manually. And like, there's enough room here, I think, to do everything automated, especially since I would really like to get copper continuously produced. We still have hangups with copper and it's not really because of coal much anymore. Although it maybe is because of coal. Hey, hey what's, up? what's going on, guys? Huh? What's going on? Ooh, mining priority. Here we go. What's this? Oh, coal. Oh, oh, I see. We can tell this thing to prioritize coal or other parts of the ground. I see. Okay, no problem. This is actually starting to look like a genuine quarry now, isn't it? It's kind of cool. Uh, let's take a look really quick. We got 15 workers now. And, you know, I think we're going to leave this beacon on for a little bit. We need it to happen. Um, I don't need food saver. I actually would like population growth. But we're we're losing unity per month now, actually now, and I eh, I don't I don't want that to happen either. So I guess maybe not. We'll let the bee can do its thing for now. For research, I want to get pipes too. I think that's pretty cool. Um, we want to go get mechanical power storage probably, so we can start that. Uh, advanced logistics control. Custom routes enables to manually assign buildings to each other to set up routes the trucks will follow. Supported by storage, mine control tower also enables to assign trucks to individual storages. That's going to be good. We're going to do that. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and grab the pipes as well. Pipes aren't that urgent, but we're, we're going to go grab them as well. So what I'm going to need to do my goals for today, uh, I'm going to actually go ahead and have this. Uh, oh, wait, what's why are both of them paused? Oh, I think this is the production for its pause. That's not a big deal. Um, let's just quick deliver this really, really right now. I got this belt all done, right? All the conveyors are done. Setup's looking great. And I love how these belts stack on top of each other. We're going to implement this for the plans that we have today as well. Do this and do this. Okay, so the plans we have today, right? We need to get even more concrete, I think, into these storages. Um, or have even more storages, I guess, yeah. 
So one, two, three, four. Bring on four more concrete storage into here. It's probably over, like way overkill, but eventually we're going to start using this a lot, I think, and uh, it's going to matter. So uh, we'll go ahead and have you. I think we'll actually bring you out. Yeah, we won't be able to, trucks won't be able to access this area once I do this, but that's OK. And then we'll go ahead and do now. Should I do that? I, I kind of like them. I, I like the idea of it going around just because, yeah, trucks can access, but also it just balances it between the storages more because if these are full, then it moves on to the next and moves on. You know, like I feel like that's a better way to do it anyway. I'm just going to do it this way anyway. We're going to bring it over here and stick it in there and then do that. And then we're just going to go like this and like this and like this and that's it. So we're going to get concrete moving through here into these new storages too. Okay. So lots of storage here, right? What are we going to do with all this concrete? I want to get it delivered over here into this area. So, um, we want copper to be through here and we want concrete to be through here. And then we want iron to be through here. So concrete, copper, and iron all need to be belt fed into these buildings. That's the goal. Can we do it? Yeah. Cause we're going to use belt stacking to do it in a very similar way. We did this. We're going to implement that over here. I'm going to start with copper. Uh, no, let's start with, actually, I think I want copper on level two. So we'll start with uh, concrete, I think. So the first thing we're really going to need is we're, we're going to need the rubber. We need rubber. So I'm just going to buy a whole bunch. You know, spend our iron to, to buy a whole bunch. I love how that's instantaneous. You don't have to bring it over there. Kind of seems a little silly, but I'll go with it. So the first thing is, I think, anyway, we're going to repurpose this storage to be iron. I want more iron storage over here. So we're going to end up dumping this supply and um, the all the concrete will be stored somewhere else. So this is all going to end up being iron instead. Okay, so then, you know, this belt system and stuff we could bring it down right next to it here instead and then put it in both storages. So I might, I might need to remake this. Uh, alternatively, if it lets me, I probably could just also, uh, no, I think that's probably a good call. We remake these belts where they stop one tile, uh, less, and then they can go down and then over and then over. Right. And that I think that's going to eventually use less resources than making full belts. But I actually don't know that because I'm not going to get the full, you know, belt for this. So maybe it is better to just, you know, bring it down like this. Maybe that's a better call. It costs uh, four and four to do that. Uh, pretty sure it's going to cost four to make this again. And I'll just end up being net negative on resources. I wish I could just keep going off this door. Yeah, I wish I could do that. Well, can I do it from this side? I mean, I could technically get away with that, right? From from over here. Go right here, I guess, and then down like that. It just looks messy. I'll figure it out. We're going to turn these into iron, okay? So the next thing is this area. And I think we're going to start with a th level three belt. And I think we'll start right here, right up against this door with a level three belt. Okay. So we'll go maybe from right here. And if I just belt this, we're not going to build this right away. Um, in fact, if I go to planning mode, is that, is that what this is? I saw this earlier planning mode. So if I enable planning mode, does this mean they won't build these right away or is that, is that not true? Cause I'd like them to keep working, but I don't want them to build this yet. Uh, we'll see how that works. Okay. So I want to go about here. I think with this belt, probably about there. Uh, and then we come down into one of these doors, right? We need to bring it into one of these. Now I could go straight in or. I could 
maybe do this even differently. Um, maybe come in from the side. Maybe we'll say that the leftmost door, right, is the door. And we'll come in, I think, probably from two tiles out, because I, I think I need that. Then we can go from here, maybe drop it down to two. And can we put it in like that? Does that work? It looks a little squiggly, but I, I think it, it won't go straight. I know that because it's just not going to, it won't line up. Now, it, it just looks like it's going to construct it anyway. So I don't think planning mode is what I wanted. Yeah. Okay. So we'll, we'll have to pause it here for a second. So what I want to do, right, is to have this bell always feed into these. So this assembly will always have good concrete. When it's full, it'll start getting backed up. And I'll go into the next one and then the next one and then the next one, right? And so uh, we'll come over, let's say two tiles over just because I'm curious. Do, do you? Oh, no. Ugh, I hate that so much. I hate that so much. Um, I, want, I was curious as to whether or not it would go straight down from there, but I don't think it will. And of course, we're keeping this at level three so that we don't block trucks. So do you just go straight in? But I worry that if you do this, you're going to block trucks. It's too, it's too extreme. I think you have to go less, like maybe one tile over. And then we go down to two to get to here and then over. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to go three over. That's fine. So we'll go right to here. Now I have to do that so that I don't ever delete it again. Uh, we'll go, come down to so like maybe here. And then over, can I go one more? Yeah, it's not gonna work. Okay, so we'll back this off and go like that. A little squiggly there. Um, from this side, I think I want to try this. We'll go height two to here and then over. No, not gonna let me. Why? Ooh, not nah. maybe from this side. We let me let me do it here. Just drop it down to two from till here, and then to here. Actually, you should work this. This worked before with the iron. So if I drop this to two like this to here, it should allow me to go like that. Oh, I should have. Okay, so I figured, figured it out. It was very confusing. Um, it's because I'm using the U-shaped conveyor. This isn't what I want. I want the flat conveyor. And now all the icons will appear. I was like, what the heck's going on with this thing? I'm using the wrong thing. Okay, so I think this will this will work the way I intended now. I, at least I hope it will. So we'll come all the way over about like this. And I want to say that this doesn't just line up and go. I need to lower it by two. And I probably need to yeah, lower it down to two, go right over near. I, with this with this one over here, it's going to be a little bit different. This one's going to be different. Um, but we're going to see it kind of going like that on this side. So like over here, it should, I think, be able to take it from this height, go down to two from here, then over right next to this door, and then over like this. That's what I want. Okay. Uh, and we should be able to do that with every single one of these. So go down to two, then over, and then across. Nope. Right there. And then down like this. Down to two. Sorry. Over and across. And this is going to be our copper delivery system. Um, sorry, this is the concrete. Copper will be very similar, um, but it's going to be on level two. So it won't it won't be it won't be so high. And again, the, the reason for doing it this way, I'm hoping anyway, the reason for doing it this way, I don't actually know if that's far enough away. It's probably not. We'll we'll play with it. Um right, is is to allow the trucks to keep moving through here. Right? I don't want to obstruct the trucks. Uh so and it doesn't really cost that much more to do it this way either. So we're gonna use our our big boy belts. We're going to get to level two here, right? Like this. Yep. Two. Go all the way across. Like so. 
I think we'll just go right up next to this. Right uh, underneath the pipe would be kind of clean, actually. Um, but the pipe is already level two, so um, we're just gonna go beside the pipe, I guess. So we'll go beside the pipe here, and then over. We're keeping level two, right? And then all the way to about here. Now I I could just go right to three. It might look cleaner if I just went straight to three, right? Let's just go straight to three. I think theoretically this will just be better. And then can I go above this now or yeah, like that. So straight over top of this pipe, that's gonna look really clean. Um, but I actually can't, uh, this is already three here too. Okay, never mind. We'll, we'll just go. I was trying to be creative. Sometimes you try to be creative and it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so there's that. And then this door will also go uh, same thing. Just bring it up. Nope, bring it up. Really? Oh, I need to go out one more. It looks like I don't want to redo this. We're going to we're going to go like this real quick. And we're just going to do this. So apparently I need to go out as far as I can go and then go one more. Because these things won't be able to interact with it if I don't. So that's what we'll do. Maybe we just go like this. Just hook it up to this. It's a, that's a lot of long conveyors, though. We don't need a conveyor system that that's that's that, that out there, right? So, hook it up there. Let's make sure this connects now. Go like this. Perfect. Okay, this connects now. Great. So all of these storages will feed concrete directly to this belt. Okay. Get rid of this. And that concrete's gonna go all the way around to here now. <sighs> Planning mode, I think, is keeping this paused. So all the construction is is paused. And then if I click off planning mode, is that when they start to build it? We'll see. So um, final things, I guess, to do here is to go get this one done. So we'll go from here, go down to level two, then over and across. And then finally from here, over, uh, level two, yep, over and across not not far enough away go like this is this far enough away yeah nope and almost almost got it and got it clean that's concrete delivery to these structures okay looks pretty good i think i'm gonna really enjoy that let's like maybe click off planning mode and see if do I have to like unpause each of these individually now or? There's a pause tool. I guess I can just click those and they'll unpause it that way. That's fine. Which one of these is paused? <laughs> well, that's a little bit silly. It's fine. I want them all to build, be built anyway. Cause I'm pretty sure this is a superior system to the trucks we're using already, right? So we're going to get all of these unpaused, all of these running. There we go. There we go. Okay. I got to do all these little junctions too. I don't know if I like planning mode. I think I'd rather just pause the game. Planning mode's a little weird. It just seems like it takes a lot longer of time, right? Okay. So there we go. Concrete deliveries figured out. So next. Next, we want copper. It's a big deal. Getting copper from here and getting over to these facilities to use, pretty big deal. Now, maintenance takes a while, but as long as we're keeping up on it, we're not going to need any more here. But if we start to need more copper, we'll just expand the electrolysis this way and this belt this way. Easy. Okay, so the next thing. Oh, need to choose a recipe for you, don't I? There you go. Next thing is copper. So... Uh, we're going to take the flat conveyor again, right up here. And we're going to go right up next to this. And we're going to go up to level two. And I think maybe if I do it from this door, we can get level two a little bit easier. Man, I'd love to have that cleaner. Ugh, gross. How about here? Let me... Aww. 
Don't do that to me. I mean, I could go around here, I guess. That would be kind of cool. That's interesting. And then it wraps the building, right? And it doesn't like it, though. It doesn't want to continue for me. Fine. Um, we'll just go... Like this, I guess. Level two, yep, all the way through. Should be nothing obstructing us from going level two all the way. Kind of want to, yeah. I don't want the posts to be in the way of the doors. There we go. Or the doors, I guess. Like the the places where people can can drive, right? I don't want it to be in the way of the trucks. Okay, so the next thing to do here, interestingly enough, is to wrap this, go to this point, and then wrap it to here. Okay, and now all of these at level two, which is gonna be a little bit tricky to get, but I think I can do it. At level two, we'll just go uh, out to the edge and then to there. Okay, and then the same thing here, out to the edge, to the edge and then down to here very good yeah we're taking care of that and the trucks can still move through here that's what i needed i want trucks to be able to do this uh so now the iron is going to be tricky but i plan to come in from the other side on the iron and i'm hoping that that's okay i haven't tested this yet um i kind of spaced it out with the level two belts and i just figured level three would be just the same thing um so i figured i, I could come in from a closer angle with two so three is like coming out wider right but this should theoretically provide us with a uh a reality now from over here because the copper is already coming from this side i think maybe we just take right in the middle here we just we just plug it in there probably that should be doable, right? This will deliver copper to every one of these. And we're also gonna get concrete delivered. So let's quick deliver this. And we should see concrete just working now. As soon as I build this, like this long one here, no, but the rest of these, we, we will see copper. Uh, we will see concrete being delivered. There you go. So all this concrete just gets quick deliver that. All this concrete just gets delivered where it needs to go. And once these are full, right, then it just gets stopped and it'll just continue on until eventually the whole thing is flooded in. Now, eventually, if we're at peak performance, what we'll see is that these ones are working and these ones aren't just because they're further down the line. Um, but the copper's coming from the other direction. So the level two doesn't require concrete, right? So if this isn't getting enough concrete, it'll probably just focus on this recipe instead because it's getting all the copper and you know like vice versa and stuff okay hopefully that makes sense and you get it we're at peak power here i need more power don't i and we have this power generator here converts mechanical power to electricity power it spins the 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 slower it spins the lower its efficiency is and it can produce 250 kilowatts which is awesome this is a high pressure turbine we need high pressure uh, steam. We need steam at high pressure to turn this thing. Which means I need a production line that involves high pressure steam in order to use this. I don't have that yet. That's a bit of a problem. So um, we're going to have to look at that. We have 17 workers. So many truck jobs in the queue. I don't like that. I wish I could just finish it, you know? I don't have the resources anymore. It's the gold ones. They're not making the gold ones anymore because they don't have the copper. They can't get the co- Aw. Uh, they can't get the copper because the trucks can't get to here anymore. This might be a pro This is going to be a problem. I think what I have to do here... This is a problem. Um, let's have you take the copper off of this. Can you take it off of the belt? You should be able to access the belt here 
See if we can take it out of there. And if you do that, there you go. Can you bring it over somewhere else now, or... Or you're just going to bring it to here? Well, that's no good. I mean, I just need it to be in storage. Well, you know, it needs to be here so we can make this. Yeah, yeah, no, that is a good thing. That's exactly what we need. Um, let's do that quick delivered. And then can I get this one delivered? If I can get this quick delivered, then this will be constant. Oh, almost. It was right there. Oh, it was so close. Here, take it off the belt again. And then this will be constant at that point. I don't have to worry about it anymore. Because it'll just get this to be in here. Come on now. Let me hit it. Almost. Just need four. Give me four. Give me four. It's spinning, so I know it's working. Did it, did it do it right as I clicked it? No. Focus this recipe, please. There you go. Come on. You're almost done. I just need a little bit more out of you. Stop. Quick deliver. And this should take care of it, I think. There it goes. And now you will always have copper and be able to make all of these gold ones. And then we can complete the rest of the belts. Okay, good. I think at this point, we don't need to take them off the belt or anything anymore. So we can bring the priority on this one down lower. Because it's about to have all the resources anyway. Now you're saying there's no power because... Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go priority two then. If I, if I lower the priority, then people, uh, when you're short on power, it'll prioritize the power to that priority list as well. So we're going to get a whole bunch of these. And then I'm just going to hit hit the button that lets the copper go further. This one. I need more uh, rubber. More rubber there. And then hit the button, maybe. Not quite. There's so many jobs in the queue. So many truck jobs, man. I need more trucks. Look at them buzzing around. I need more. Deliver these resources and queue up a couple more. All right. Mechanical power storage is good. I think that's part of what I need to that get that extra system running. Look at this belt is already done. I just need, I simply need this one to keep the supply going. Keep the supply moving, you know? It won't let me use Unity anymore. I don't have the parts yet. This thing's cranking, though. I'm going to boost. No, I already had it boosted. Boost it. Um, I think I want to boost this one, too. If we can, get, But we can't get copper into it. Because the trucks can no longer access copper storage. Um, so that that is a potential issue. And um, I think one way to solve that is to turn this into copper storage. So I'm going to turn this into copper storage. And then all I, got, all I have to do at this point is just treat this like it's one of these facilities. Right? And so we'll go ahead and go over the conveyor at level two. Let's say level two. It's here, right? Nope. Right. Come on. Just need to figure out where this, where this is. Height two. Here we go. And then... Uh, I can't go from there. I have to go maybe from over here. Come on. Where is it? Uh, uh, I can't tell. I, I need this I need this to be finished so I can see graphically where this is. Like all these little boxes are confusing me. I'm too old for this. My eyesight ain't what it used to be. Can we do it here? Tell me you work here if I just go that i would say good enough but it's not i need it to be further along here we'll go uh here this should be acceptable i think it's too far over yeah i want them to be able to get in here i'm gonna go from this side yeah we'll go from here good enough build this well i wanted the quick build but we're gonna hit the quick build here in a second doesn't this look cool, though? Huh? All these resources getting fed in? It looks nice as long as we have power, which we don't. So, I mean, like, I guess I'm going to have to have another diesel generator. 
we get we do have the fuel to support it i just have to do it so fine whatever i don't like it but i'll do it uh give me the pipe and we just come off of this and go like that let's deliver that and deliver that and then this is going to be power production four or something i don't know i just need to make sure every building is powered and this is what that's what this is going to do there it goes no Are we still short whoa we're still short we're cranking when everything's running because there's storage for it that's that's why you know um let's quick deliver this and now we'll start seeing copper be delivered into this storage and uh once that begins to happen you know good things can happen because then the copper can be used for other things um I don't know about just hitting it empty. I mean, once the copper storage is full, then we'll just keep making it and it won't be a big deal. But um, I, I do want to have this extra storage so the trucks can go get it. And, you know, I think that's a good idea. Hooray, population increased. That's how I got the rubber before. The people came in with, from the beacon. They came in with the rubber. Everything's starting to make more sense now, isn't it? Let's go ahead and do this. Now I'm out of iron, so I can't buy anymore. I'm, I'm expanding too quickly. Let's calm down. Calm down. As long as all of these structures are running, right? We're good. Um, the last thing we need now is to make sure that iron is always running. So this just became a higher priority building. Congratulations, iron. You're now at P5. You've been, you've been upgraded, right? Look at that. See? Now when we have a power problem, you'll keep running. Isn't that nice? Oh man, advanced logistics is going to be nice because then I can put those coal trucks on these tanks specifically and just like go get me coal all the time. That'll be very good. And then I think I need to yeah, keep full. This needs to be a higher priority. We're going to go four on these, at least these two tanks. This one doesn't even have a priority. We'll keep that up too. I was really good on coal for a while. And then I got cocky and said, oh, I got plenty of coal. <laughs> no, that's not how it works at all, is it? Let's quick deliver this, but I'm going to remove these and get two more excavators so I can get more coal going. Let me go ahead and take a look at the, the mining here, too. Um, we're going to just expand this a little bit. Not the ramp. Flat. Uh, and just expand it out to be like here and like here. You guys will keep cranking away at your quarry, your quarry business. And then this is just extra. You should be bringing it over there unless you have nowhere else to go. And then you bring it here. How's my food looking? Full everywhere. Fine. We can afford more population then, can't we? I have so much housing compared to my population. Let's just let this beacon run. Like, I'm just going to let it run for a while. So I can get more people. This is almost emptied. I've recorded this well in advance. I, I didn't know your answer to this, but I will read it. I try to read every comment on this channel. I try to anyway. Um, sometimes it's just not meant to be. It gets busy, but uh, I do I do try. And um, so if you've mentioned this, I'll see it. Look at this. Everything is just stalled out because there's nowhere for the concrete to go. We have so much concrete and now we just need to finish the iron. So for iron, we're kind of kind of tight in here, right? So I think what I could do here, just to add an extra machine, because I think it'll totally work. And I, I probably should have spaced these out to plan for this. But if I had stacked these right next to each other, and I'll do, I'll do it here to show you what I mean. Um, I could have gotten more concrete production for this if I had done this this way. So um, let me go with the blast furnace and we're just gonna rotate this so the slag is on the other side now i don't think we need to do that we'll, we'll keep it keep it consistent because it's working but we're gonna go right up next to this right and then we can just use the same molten channels we don't need to have all these extra molten channels right we could have done the same thing here with the molten channels but i didn't know right it's like whatever so now we know 
So I will take this one and go into here. And then I will take this one and just go like this. Okay. So now it's going to go into that junction and it'll get separated between these two anyway. And you know, if there was a way to, to do that here, this might be okay. Cause I can fit it here. Right. So we could do it here too, potentially just fit it here and then have the molten channel, but it, the molten channel can't be raised. So like, I can't, I can't get it in there. It's gotta be on ground level. So it's not going to work after all. It sucks because it would have worked. I can actually do it here, but that's copper. I need it with iron. Yeah, that's okay. I, I could maybe even if I move this pipe, I could do one more here too. But I think this extra one's going to be fine for now. If we need additional iron, we, I, like I said before, we, we could do it over here too and have additional iron being made. Um, there's also a huge iron deposit over back here. So if we ever expand back in this area, we can do that too. But mostly I think it's just a time thing. I just need time in and just let it run because it, it will produce the, it will produce these. Um, and it, we could we could see what we're using too, I suppose, because <clears throat> we're probably underproducing quite heavily. So, um, you know, we're currently producing 24 each. I wish I could see a global production. Can I see global production of iron? Iron. Produced and consumed. Okay. This is a lifetime this year. Can I see... This is like the last three years. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for like a real-time look at what my consumption... Mostly not really my consumption. My potential consumption, right? What's my capacity at? It would be cool to know that, but I don't think that's something the game is just going to flat out tell me, I guess. So um, let's get this stuff hooked up. So the steam pipe does the same thing, goes up to level two, like it always does. There we go. And we'll go ahead and quick deliver that. And then the uh, U-shaped conveyor is going to come up as well, level two. Well, at least I thought it was. Oh, level one, maybe? What's... Oh. Right, because that's that junction is in the way? Oh, I... Wait, what? Why can't you go up? Really? Height two, transport. The selected position was not found. Uh oh, that's a problem. I have to have that. Um, we may have to, we may have to move this over one. I think I do. I think I have to move this over one, unfortunately. I can't put it right next to it because it's, there's not enough room for that thing to come down. So we're going to remove this really quickly. Um, I don't know if I need to, I might as well just remove this too. And we're going to move it over a little bit. Right next to it doesn't work, so... This should provide enough room, I think. Let's let's test that right away for this. So level one. There we go. And over. Okay. I, I don't know if it was because of the junction or what, but I don't have it these bending points. I don't have any of those other ones over top of a molten channel junction because I don't have any other molten channel junctions. That's my only one. Um so Anyway, we fixed it. It maybe cost us a bit, but I don't even know if it cost us really. I, I canceled all the constructions before it was done, so I don't think it cost me anything. All right, so I'm gonna go in and deliver this. I guess it cost me the unity for building the pipes and everything, but I needed that done. And then the molten channel, we again need to connect to that. That's still the problem, isn't it? All right, I'm not gonna be able to connect to that. That's still a problem. We've never, I never had this uh, this type of situation before, right? So, um, I really don't want to go around, but it does kind of look pretty cool. <laughs> it does look cool. I'm not gonna, but yeah. Um, all right, so I guess all of it will feed this one, right? 
I mean, I don't have any other choice. I have to feed the beast. Unless just to try it, just to see. I just want to see. I know it's wasteful, but I want to see if it'll work. If we put you all the way over here and then here, can you come up over top? It's squiggly as hell, but it, it does work. It's just really weird. That's a little bit, it's, it's just weird, but it works and I'm going to take it because I need it to, I want it to go to that junction. Okay, good. It's, it's, it's completely unclean. I feel dirty, <laughs> but it's going to work. And that will make me feel better than it not working. Yeah. Uh, so this is to be our final conveyor here then, right? So the U-shaped conveyor from this point. We bring it down against level two and we go like, uh, I guess to be like this. Straight down like that. Yep. And then this iron conveyor needs to go underneath this. So this will be messy too. It's all very messy. Oh, so, so very messy. But you know what? I don't care. Oh, I can't do this. Why not? Because I need the U-shape one, that's why. Dummy. That's the why, that's why this one didn't work. It needs to go un under like this, yep, and then over. It's fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Iron, do it. All right, so we're gonna have these guys producing even more because they're always waiting, right? Waiting for the input. Now it won't wait anymore. Just to have all the stuff work, okay? Uh, this game, man, I tell you, there's always something to do. Always something to do. We've got tons of like tons of construction parts now. I should be using them, but I've been making the gold ones instead. Let's put a chill pill on the gold ones. Focus on the others. So for iron, right? We got to all come up these these conveyor belts and everything's going to be automatically delivered exactly the way we want, which is really beautiful. So the next step is to get it from where it is in here to get it in here. And again, trying not to disrupt the trucks is kind of impossible. But at this point, the only thing we have to drop, drop off here is wood. And I think the trucks actually can just pull in here and drop off the wood. I don't think they have to get in here to do it. The only thing I'll have to worry about, I guess, is, well, currently the trucks are coming in to get rid of the concrete because we're turning this into iron storage, right? So I could also look into con converting all this stuff to iron storage too. Um, but I think once we get to the point now where, okay, we've done the thing, right? We don't need, we don't need, uh, this is all level two. Yeah, there's no way I can connect this without disrupting the trucks. And this is all gonna be iron storage. So we're gonna go this way first, and then here, that's iron. And then we'll go uh, this way first, and then here, that's iron. And then this one will connect here to be, you know, iron. Um, we could actually allow this to connect right now because it's still going to send a resource we need in here in here so that's still going to be fine you could go here that's concrete and iron um we'll have you go uh actually it probably be easier to go this way with it and then over like that and then just have you connect here so those those two storages are going to be good to go and then we'll take uh, these are both iron, so we'll, we'll take iron from here, bring it over and down, and then you are going to be here. And then there's also an iron on this side, which we haven't done yet. And so if we, uh, 
want to balance this appropriately. Oh, we can't. Can't you can't balance them unless you go all in a line. Yeah, no, we got to go all in a line. Go bring this back out. Cancel this. We can't cancel it because we uh Do we have to cancel it? We have to cancel the ones going into the storage, but maybe these points where they meet don't have to be canceled. Those are probably fine. But they have to they have to all go the right direction. Otherwise, they won't be balanced. That's why these will all be balanced, because they're all in a line. And these ones here being individual, I don't know. Is that is that going to be okay? Um, I have my doubts about that being okay. I'm going to cancel these just for the time being. And I feel like probably... All right, magic of video editing. I'm gonna do this a little bit differently. Okay, so I got up in here and like, I have to block the trucks, right? So um, what I've done is I've, I've kind of just made this belt go along the bottom and um, very similar system to what we had before with all these others is uh, we went ahead and just allow this to all stream in the one same direction. Um, and it should allow these different storages and stuff to you know, react that way. Some of this is going to end up being concrete and it's going to all go into a place where it can be used anyway. So I'm not really concerned about it, but, um, yeah, for a little bit, it's going to be kind of a mixed belt, which is usually not what you want. A mixed belt. You kind of want individual belts for individual resources usually, but, um, I'm going through all of these just to do quick deliver. I don't know if there's like a quick deliver shortcut tool or something, but I don't have it. So you can see how everything is kind of coming out now. And I just, you know, trucks don't really need to get through like this, but they need to get into here. And I just want to make sure they can get to these structures. So like to get stuff out of the wood storage or to fill wood in the wood storage, that's got to happen, right? And right now I don't have wood being delivered to here. So wood is something that I think needs to get on the belts too. And so we'll have some of this be iron, some of this is be wood. And it's gonna kind of again be like a mixed bell in these, which I don't, I don't care for. I really don't. I don't. I didn't want wood to be like this, but um, wood was gonna be something that just trucks would deliver. And I might, you know, I might actually go ahead and just change these storages so they're not wood. But for the time being, wood is stored pretty close. But the trucks still have to go all the way around to deliver them. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's it's not as efficient as. I'm not as excited about it as I was before I put this long belt in, but I'm sure there's an idea out there on how I could fix that. Um, but I mean, I'd have to lift it up to level two by here, which is kind of impossible, but you can only have so many things on level two, right? It's fine. It's fine. Everything's going to be fine here. So um, this is going to theoretically have everything being delivered at the same time. And then the only reason this isn't moving right now is because I have a ton of construction parts available. And so now it's to the point where I could say, for example, start spending these and just deliver them to here. And that would spend a ton of these parts. And now all of these buildings can start working again to, to remake them, right? So now we're gonna start replacing them again. And uh, I, can't, I can't do this because I don't have the rubber. Ah, I can fix that. Now I can do this. I was like, I'm trying to figure out why these belts can't be done, and it's always the rubber. All right, there it is, and then you're done, and you're done. And then this one's done, and then this one is done. Nope, that one's being done anyway. So the trucks can access to build these, um, in case you're wondering. Um, because I've allowed them to access here, they can drive up as long as they're close enough. They can drive here, for example, and build you know, conveyor belts in this area. Um, doing quick deliver was only to get them going and get it to get it working. That was the only reason. To get wood delivered, I think, is kind of impossible um, as long as the storages for wood are in here. So if I really wanted to deliver wood here, uh, I would have to I'd have to change it up a little bit. Like I had to be changed it up a lot of it, honestly. Um, but you can see we have tons of construction parts now. We're we're cruising. So. The next steps to do then, and this is going to be what we do in the next video, okay? For starters, we're going to get our ship to go somewhere else. 
not enough fuel now, of course. Well, come on back then, I guess. I don't like this. I, I wish I didn't have to, like, all origins from home. It's like a, I don't know, I feel like I'm in a darkest dungeon dungeon kind of thing. Like, I can't go. It's, it's the water. It's the open water. You should be able to sail wherever you want, but all right, whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, this is all, it's all working out. So when we come back for the next one, okay, first thing I think we're going to do yeah, I'm going to keep workers coming in, too, because I have enough food to support it. So we're going to keep that going until I start seeing these storages deplete. We're going to keep bringing people in because I need to do it. We are going to start working on... I wanted to start working on advanced diesel, but unfortunately, we haven't found that yet. So uh, that might take a bit because we have to get the cargo ship technology. So before we can do that, I guess, we can start looking at maybe power generation, the boiler put coal in the boiler, add a lot of water and a lot of coal to get high steam. Okay. Uh, and then the steam needs to go to a power generator. So probably what happens here, I would guess, is that the steam generation for power is going to happen over here. And uh, that, that'll be how we do it because we're going to want to hook it up to the water system, right? Um, it might even do it right in this little area. I'm not really doing much here. So this might be a place to do it too. We'll talk about it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.